Welcome to the Beach House. So this video is going to be like a summary of a, a lot of important things, so let's get started. Okay, so the lease is for 7 to 12 months, and the reason why we do that is because the state of Florida is a vacation state, and um, without that, we have to charge between 9 and 11% vacation tax. So simply, we just uh, we do a lease, and we're in compliant, you're in compliant, we're in compliant. Um, it's $25 to exit the lease. So if you decide you want to exit the lease, it's $25 to exit and 30 days notice. Okay, so let me repeat, $25 to exit and 30 days notice. Okay, after three months, you can exercise that that right. We, we want you to stay for at least three months because we don't want to be a hotel, okay? Also, when you decide to vacate, you must clean your room. You have to get it spotless the same way it was when you when you moved in, which means bleaching the floors, cleaning all the molding, cleaning the windows, you know, cleaning the window sills, um, replacing the mattress protector if you stained it. You, know, you can get one at Walmart for around 15 bucks, okay? The uh, administration fee is $250. It's non-refundable, okay, and that helps us prepare the room, get everything ready for, you know, um, all your administrative expenses for the life of you as a client. This is a smoke-free environment where we live in the beach house, um, meaning no smoking in the house, no vaping, no incense, nothing on fire in the house, okay? If you want to smoke, you can go outside and do it away from the door it must be away from the door and away from people's windows because people are living in the property right so you don't want smoke to blow back into the property so please go somewhere away from the property you know you can smoke your cigarette and then extinguish it properly you know with uh you know put it out properly and then throw it in the outside garbage okay it's very important and never throw cigarette butts in the garden or in the landscaping or anything like that please this is our home this is where we live it's not our dump okay um also, rent is due on the first of the month. You get a three-day grace period, you know, every month. So first, the second, the third. After the third, considered late, it's ten dollars a day late fee for up to seven days. Okay, so every day that's late, ten dollars late fee. If it goes to the tenth, we assume that you're not paying, and we just ask you to clean your room the way it was when you found it spotless and vacate the property. Um, take all your belongings and text me that you vacated and send me a picture. Of it picture of the room okay um, the stuff in the room all your all the all the all the uh, pictures and everything and all the furniture please don't take any of those things down uh, off the walls or anything like that if you want to move the furniture it's okay but please let me know beforehand if you break anything in the room you're gonna have to pay for it which means you know the remote the bed um, the mattress if you stain the mattress if you break the bed frame um, if you lose the remote control, if you break the TV, anything that's broken is going to have to be paid for. There's a chart um, in the room where you have your uh, my room pro my room pledge. Okay, um, turn off all fans, lights, anything in your room, you know, AC, um, anything in your room when you leave. If you're leaving for you know a period of time of more than an hour, please turn everything off. This is just a respectful way to take care of the power and for us to uh, save on energy. Okay, make sure you turn off again the AC, you know, the lights, the fans, and so forth like that. Abandonment. If you move out and you abandon the property or you get incapacitated somehow or you wind up in jail or something like that, we reserve to take the room over back after three days of non payment. Okay, if for some reason you couldn't get in touch with us and you come back, it just may be in a different room. Okay, so if we don't hear from you, you know, after th three days, we're going to assume that you're not contacting us and you split for some sort of reason. We're going to take the room back, okay? But we can always get you back in. If you give us a call, it just might be a different room. <clears throat> um, drugs. So if you're thinking on doing drugs in this property or bringing into this property, think again. This is not the plot. This is not the property for that. We have a zero tolerance policy on drugs, okay? And... Um, we don't get ourselves involved if we get any multiple reports of people uh, doing drugs on the property or having drugs on the property. We call the police and we get them involved and they handle it from there. People that are uh, you know, doing their pot, if they have their marijuana card, that's fine. Do it outside again, away from the windows. Don't do it anywhere near, near the property um, uh, where it's going to go inside the property. Okay. Um, <clears throat> if you... If you um, Wait, let me go back here. Cleaning up after yourself. Okay, so it's very important to clean up after yourself. 
you know, I can't say this enough and again and again. The kitchen, you use the kitchen, clean it up. Um, you know, dirty dishes, put them, clean them up, put them back in the ca cabinets, okay? You have to understand, we're keeping the place in showroom condition for yourself and for other residents. So if you take a pot, you use it, and then you leave it dirty in the sink, well, what does that do? It's like a, a little bit like of a clogged artery, right? Because now you have another resident that comes home, they want to cook dinner, and they have a dirty dish that they have to sink. So now they have to clean your dirty dish. It's not really fair. So better thing to do is clean it, okay? And then when you're done with it, put it back. And if you're if you're worried about burning pots and pans, use lower heat. Usually that solves the problem. Might take you a little bit longer, but you're not going to burn anything. Okay, if you use lo lower heat, you're not going to have to scrub pots and pans because you know or, or let them soak. Basically, letting something soak is a little bit of a lazy way of doing it. I get it. You know, if you're in your own house, you can do it this way, but. Unfortunately, you have other residents that are there, and that's what we're all buying into, right? We're buying to to live a middle class lifestyle, and we're all chipping into it to make it uh, less, you know, more cost effective. So clean up, clean up after yourself in the kitchen. Any smelly food or garbage, put it in a Ziploc bag and put it in the garbage outside. Okay, don't leave smelly, stinky garbage inside the garbage. Like if you use meat or something, or if you make chicken and then you put the diaper in the garbage, it's gonna stink in about. Two hours, it's going to smell up the whole entire house. So you can't put that in there. So it sounds funny, but the garbage that should be left in the house is like clean garbage, not dirty, filthy garbage. Any of that stuff, put in a Ziploc bag and put it in the outside. And it's important to do that because it's going to attract raccoons and mice and all that other stuff. So it's very important not to, not to do that. Anything in the refrigerator should be in a Ziploc bag or a sealed container. If you make something in a pot or a pan, don't leave it in the refrigerator. Again, it's the same as if you left it in the sink. You have another resident that's going to come home now, and he's going to want to use that pot or pan, and it's going to be in the refrigerator. And it takes up a lot of space, so not a good idea. Okay, so we have to have a little bit more cooperation because we're, we're, we're cooperating and living with other people. Same, same thing for the bathroom. No personal belongings left in the bathroom other than the shower. You can put them in the drawers. Clean everything up. Clean the floors. No, no garbage left in, in the in the in the uh, in the bathroom. Clean everything up. You know, get all the water up off the floor. Hallways. Don't leave anything in the hallways. Okay. And um, do your do your cleaning assignment once a once a week. You know, it's about 20 minutes. We got the bathroom you can clean, the, all the floors, or the kitchen, which includes the entire refrigerator. It takes about 20 minutes, okay? So, you know, this is to keep the place in tip top um, condition, okay? Quiet times between 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. daily. So, if you're doing anything throughout the, throughout the house at those times, you gotta do it really quiet. This means no cooking. After those after those hours, if you want to make a sandwich, just be quiet. If you go into the bathroom, close the door quiet and close your your door quiet. Okay, it's very important. This is a place we call home. It's not a party house, and it's you know it's a place that we kind of share. So we have to be cooperative towards for others, and the same cooperation is going to be put forth towards for you as well. Okay. Dress code. This means no um, wear, walking around with without a shirt or anything like that for gentlemen. So sh a shirt and shorts is uh, is, min is minimum. Okay. Lock the door whenever you leave. It's very important. Don't leave the doors open. You know, you always want to lock the door before you leave. If you want to make extra money, um, the best way to do that is to just get in touch with me, and um, we're going to do. Um, we're, we have. We're always showing the properties to other individuals that are interested in in renting. So we do it like this: twenty five dollars if you show the property and you rent it. We pay twenty five dollar commission. Twenty five dollars if you want to clean the room. If we have to do that, a lot of times we're not going to have to do that anymore because everyone's going to start cleaning their own rooms. And also, if we have a common area that needs to be cleaned, you know, there's another. $25 to, if you want to uh, clean the common area, okay? From time to time, we need to do these things. So that's an additional $75 bucks, uh, that you could possibly make, okay? Uh, moving on. So not paying rent. So if, you, if you're not paying rent and you want a grandstand, it's not a good idea. The best thing to do is probably just get your stuff and vacate if you lose your job or this or that. We ask you to leverage friends and family or your boss for a loan, okay? Calling us and asking us, that you, and telling us that you can't pay and asking us what we can do, it doesn't work for us because we're a business and we're not a not-for-profit business. If, if we can't get paid by our residents, we can't pay our own bills and then we go away and we don't want that. So I ask you to leverage your friends and your family if you're having these situations or simply move in with friends and family, vacate the property, property within a short period of time and just come back after you get back on your feet and everything's straightened out. That's honorable and we'll accept you back if, you, if you're doing that. 
after 10 days of non-payment, we would assume that you can't pay the rent. We just ask that you vacate, okay? So, and by the way, if you do grandstand or, you know, and you're not paying your rent and you're staying there for a long period of time or trying to stay there for a long period of time, after 10 days, we're going to do the eviction process. And once we start the eviction process, we foresee it, and that will wind up on your credit for seven years. That's not something that you really want to be on your credit because it's going to be very hard to rent again if someone ever pulls your credit. Overnight guests are okay, but keep in mind, only twice a week, okay, they, your overnight guest can, can only be there or your guest can only be there when you're present, okay? Your guest is not allowed to come into the property and walk in when you're not there and be hanging out there or be waiting in your room. That's not fair to others, and that's a security issue because we don't, we don't know who these people are, okay? So it's important. When you have a guest over, you must be present, okay? When, you, when your guest is there, you have to be present as well. Okay, so you can't be leaving them there and they can't be there when you're at work and so forth. Okay, so that's very important. Anything more than two days, you need to get written, written, written permission. Okay, candles, incense, anything on fire, these things are not prohibited. Nothing on fire could be inside the property or outside the property on the grounds. We, we don't use tiki torches or this and that. Okay, nothing on fire. We, 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 worry, we worry about having fires, and that's why you see the fire extinguishers everywhere. If there's ever a fire, just rip the fire extinguisher off the wall and use it okay there's one in the kitchen and there's one in everyone's bedroom okay um <clears throat> lock so all the all the all the entrances are, are keyless entry okay so you know keyless entry to your room keyless entry to the front door again always lock them when you're leaving the battery in your room is your responsibility it's very simple you just need a phillips screwdriver and it's four about four uh triple a batteries to, to change it if you need any help you know you can just you can give me a call but it's your your um your responsibility house rules are posted on on the in the kitchen and you also have a pledge that's posted everywhere also so you have a bathroom pledge kitchen pledge hallway pledge and outdoor pledge so you can just go over those you know in the uh in the property read them read them all um, the toilet. So the toilet is your responsibility not to clog. So if you clog it, you're going to have to plunge it, okay? Because I'm not coming over there and plunging your junk, okay? So, you know, so it's going to be your responsibility, okay? So the easiest way to solve this problem is to flush, you know, flush a couple times. I don't care if you flush three or four times when you go to the bathroom. We don't care about that. So if you're using the bathroom and you tend to use a little bit more paper than normal, just flush it a bunch of times. That'll solve the problem, okay? But if you clog it, you're going to have to plunge it yourself. I have no problem um, if we're missing a, a, a plunger there or if we need a snake or something, you can run the Home Depot and I'll pay for it. I'll even pay for that, but I'm not coming there and doing it because you can do it yourself, okay? Um, if you clog the shower, same thing. It's usually women that clog the shower with long hair, okay? So if you clog the shower, every time we've had a problem with a shower clogged, it's, it's, we pull it out, it's always women's long hair. So generally, if you're a woman that has long hair and you clog the shower, it's really easy to unclog it. You just got to get yourself a hanger and stick it down there and just keep pulling the hair out, and it just comes right out. It's the same thing I would have to do anyway. It's your hair. If you do it, you're going to have to take responsibility and, and do it yourself, okay? Um. The oven. So if you if you um, uh, if you're in the kitchen and you're using the oven or anything cooking, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to clean the oven. Okay, keep the oven clean. We we don't want to have a grease fire or anything like that. It's very important um, to keep everything clean. Okay. So we went over the garbage and smelly stuff again. Anything that smells that you're putting in the garbage needs to be you know sealed in paper or plastic. Okay. Okay. Driveway parking. Driveway parking or uh, the park. Park, parking is for you only, not for your guests. If you have um, uh, more than one car, it's not going to work here. Okay, so you're going to have to find another place for the other car. So we have we have parking for one one person, one resident, one car. Okay. Um, refrigerator, keep it clean. No, f again, no open foods in there, no pots, pans, or anything like that. Things are sealed. Okay. Um, <clears throat> um, we accept payment again by pay by um. By um, uh, Quick Pay or Chase Bank. Okay, so if you're paying by Quick Pay, it's really easy. You just need our email address and you can make the payment. Or Chase Bank, you get a money order. You write your name on, on you write our name on it, so Fire Ventures, and then you write your name on it somewhere. It's very important, and you can deposit into our Chase account. Um, what else? 
if we get a complaint for from someone for, for about you for more than three times, um, we're probably going to ask you to vacate. And it, that just it might be mean that that just might mean that this is not working for you, and this might not be the, the correct environment for you. It's not for everybody, you know. Um, I can tell you this about roommate living. It's never going to be perfect, so don't expect it. If you're expecting perfection, probably not the place for you. It's a give and take situation and scenario, and um, you know. It's that's just how it is. So it's never going to be perfect, you know. So we gotta we gotta understand that and uh, understand that you know that we're here because we're kind of like lone wolves. And um, if we can be a little bit more friendly towards e towards each other and be more helpful, well, that's our goal at the beach house. All right, guys. So if you have any other questions, let me know. God bless and welcome to the beach house.